How's it going everyone? Bob here, KD4BMG. I recently picked up a Maxpedition VersaPack, small, lightweight, but sufficient for just kind of taking small, short day trips. To go along with that, I picked up a pouch for HTs. I'm not much of a fan of belt clips with HTs, probably mostly because of how I use HTs very often at the workstation in the office, and so I like to lie them flat on their back. And when you put a clip on there, it's a little bit more difficult to do that. If I were out and about constantly, perhaps I would prefer the clip to go on my belt. So I choose to use a pouch with my go bags. And I picked up the Maxpedition HT pouch to go with my VersaPack. I'm a buy once, cry once type of person. And well, in this case, I, I had to cry when I made this purchase because it was a bit expensive. It, it's worth every cent of it. It's very high quality. You adjust it using two different Velcro straps to get it to fit the HT that you choose to carry. It doesn't like belt clips, as no pouch really likes belt clips. You can make them all work, but you'd get a little bit fatter from front to back when you do that. So I thought I would do a review on that, and then I realized, you know what? Um, anyone who is going after the top quality already knows about Maxpedition, and they could make that decision without me. Good gear worth the money, but it's it's a chunk of change. So I wanted to show you something else today that I think is just as high a quality, but a lot more economical. I do want to say to you, if you ever see me out and about at one of the uh, various uh, ham vention type events, uh, why don't you stop me and say hello? I'd like to know what you think of the channel, if you have any recommendations for me. It's likely I'll be carrying some of my custom stickers. I have them all geared towards the various levels of licensing that you get here in the U.S. So a technician, a general, and an extra class. So you can get a, a tech razorback, a general porker, or an extra wild boar. And if none of those uh, tickle your fancy, how about a boss hog and we'll make you extra special. I usually carry some of these in limited quantities with me. So stop me, say hello, and ask me for one of my stickers. If you're like me and you prefer a pouch to the belt clip, but you don't quite have that Maxpedition budget, let me steer you over to the Amazon store of G Gable Radio. I've mentioned them a number of times with various products on the channel because they keep offering to hams really cost-effective gear, and they keep innovating. So as long as that continues, I'll keep talking about their products. What you have here are a large and a small pouch that are both made from very durable and strong Cordura fabric, and they are stitched incredibly well. You don't have the infinite flexibility like you do with that Maxpedition, but if you go with a small, you can easily fit the UV5R or the FT3DR. What is flexible and adjustable would be your strap here to retain it, and then some straps on the back for attachment. So let's talk about attachment real quick. So this has three D-rings on it, one on the top and two on the sides, and then it comes with this three-position harness that you could put around your back and over your shoulder. That's one way that you can carry this, and it'll, it'll kind of put the pouch pretty high up on your chest so you can hear well from the speaker. In my case, I'm using the straps on the back. There is a belt loop, so you can easily go through your belt if you want to cinch this down to your shorts, your trousers with the belt. And then there's also a secondary loop that is adjusted via two very strong snaps and some very aggressive Velcro. And so this is how I'm connecting this to my Maxpedition pouch and I'll show you that in just a second. So when I first decided, you know, I wanna get this onto my Maxpedition pouch, I decided that I wanted to go with the larger one and fit it to my fairly new ID52A. I'm spending a lot of time right now learning this radio. And then of course I carry the Anytone 878 as one of my favorite radios. So this larger pouch fits both of these perfect. And again, I have these without a belt clip. Let me just show you the difference between belt clip and no belt clip. Here, this fits my 878 quite well fits in there perfectly. Let's swap out the batteries and I'll show you, you can get the belt clip in there, but I just don't like the way that that feels. It makes the whole thing a little bit bulkier. And as I've already said, I don't normally operate with the belt clip. That's just because of my operating conditions. We can get the belt uh, clip in here. It's a bit more tricky. All right, it's in, can be adjusted. 
on the strap, but it's not necessary. The way it came from their store fits just fine. So you can see it's just a lot thicker in this direction. So if you like to keep your belt clip on and you want to use a pouch once in a while, this is sufficient for that. It's just not the way I roll. And for the ID52, again, without the clip, the larger one fits the ID52 perfectly. So let me just snap a picture for this and show you what it looks like on my Maxpedition VersaPack. And uh, head on over to G Gable if you want to support someone who's really supporting us these days with great products. Vanna White, I am not. But then again, she's not sporting a Maxpedition VersaPack and she's not carrying an ID52A. Talk to you soon, friend. 73.